And we are back for round one. I think my deck wanna play first. It's you know it's decently aggressive, and that hand is a very fine keep. Uh, yep, it's decent. I mean, a two drop alongside a removal, uh, witness the end, free runner. It it, it just seems uh, quite decent. As the opponent null to five, which is rather unlucky, and put a card on the bottom. All right, so I would say that we start this uh this match with quite an advantage there, obviously given the mulligan to 5. Also, Witness the End is gonna be, I think, particularly good if my opponent just mulled to 5, so if I reach my fourth land, uh, that's that's certainly gonna be good. We are facing blue-red, and I drew Chandra in the meantime, alright. Sure. Definitely want to draw lands now, given what I do have, and hopefully I will. Uh, if I don't, uh, you know, the Devouring Flame can can buy me can buy me a bit of time. Uh, cultivated drone. Uh, well, I guess I'll play Slaughter Drone. Um, I could devour that, but I don't think I really need to do so. Also in sealed. There are some really threatening creatures that can win the game off the, on their own. I'd rather kill that than a uh, cultivated drone, which currently is not doing match. If my opponent does attack there, it's completely fine with me. I draw an expedite. Well, I guess I'll try to expedite a creature. It doesn't matter which one, since the opponent is tapped out. And hopefully we can draw... Well, I would rather have drawn a uh, mountain, obviously, but this is not... This is better than nothing. I mean, b better than a non-land at least. I guess we'll pass the turn. And, yep. I mean, the opponent did mull to 5, but my start is not amazing either. I have a bit more red than black in my deck, so hopefully I I'll be able to draw one of those. And next turn, I can devour in flame plus free runner, even if I don't draw land, which could be good. I mean, I'm not really thrilled about killing any of those, but if my opponent plays something like a uh, Kozilek, uh, the 4-4 that produces mana, I could see myself killing that. Chasm Guide is pretty much the least of my concern. If my opponent does attack, I will I will gladly trade my creature for any of my opponent's ally. I would assume that my opponent could, will um, loot though. I guess we'll see. But uh, again, I, I would not mind ma making any trade there. Alright, so. Oh, Alright, an attack. Interesting. I think I'll trade the immobilizer if. No, no attacks. Alright. Now. Alright, I drew a red, which is great. I don't think I want to Devourine Flame anything. I kind of want to use Witness the End when my opponent does only have two cards in hand. That being said, since they missed a few land drops, I will get two spells if I do it now. I mean, the choice is basically hard cast, free runner, or Witness the End. I'm not really sure which one is better. Um, well, playing a creature is better if I can cast Chandra next turn, because it will set up defenses. Actually, I think I kind of want to witness the end now. Alright, yeah, let's do that. I mean, Free Runner is not going to do much in this board, so I don't see any reason to cast it now. Uh, and I, I'm quite sure that I'll get two lands by, I mean, two uh, spells by doing it now, which is already uh, pretty good. Yup, I mean, getting those two flyers is amazing, because, yeah, it is just great. <coughs> My opponent did not loot end of turn. I guess if they have only one good card left, yeah, th they must discard first, so that makes sense. The thing I'm a bit worried about is that my the card that my opponent does have in hand is better than Jor Isle Avenger and or Wind Rider Patrol. All right, an attack with everything. Hmm. 
if my opponent does that, I might double block on the cultivated drone. It's a risky block, but if I do so, I can clean the board using minus two of Chandra. I don't know, I don't think it would be right to do so. And I would probably not do that. I would just probably just block on the two allies. Uh, here I might actually double block. Just because by doing so, I make it it's more likely that I can minus two Chandra to kill. Hmm, I don't know. On the other hand, I don't really. I think, given the Chandra, I'm. I, I kind of want to make trade and keep my open board as as a clean as possible. If, if my opponent does have a trick there, and two for one me, I I don't even really care honestly. All right. So we did that trade, which is fine, and we might see a 5 drop there. I would assume the card that my opponent kept in hand, which was another Avenger. Oh, alright, sure. Uh, if I draw land, I think I'm playing Chandra and using minus 3. I draw an Oblivion Strike. Alright. Kinda wanna devour that in flame. I think it's threatening enough, and now that I drew um, an Oblivion Strike, I'm not too worried about a potential lack of removal for, uh, I don't know, a Sphinx of Tazim or something along those lines. Uh, and I think I'll play my free runner and pass the turn. And now we do have an even board, except that I do have two powerful 6 drop and a good removal in hand. Things are looking fine for me. Another Avenger, so my opponent did open three Avengers. <laughs> Alright, sure. I drew land. Um, <clears throat> do I want to trade this for one of my opponent's creature? Don't really want to play Chandra into the Avenger. I think I'll attack. If I trade this for one of the ally, I'm fine. Uh, I can then play the Deathless Beamos and raise uh, my opponent board quite efficiently and potentially use Chandra a bit later on. Yeah, okay, sure. No problem. Uh, I think I'd rather kill the looter. Yeah, I'm sure I'd rather kill the looter. And yeah, I'm gonna play that Behemoth and pass the turn. I don't think there's any reason to Chandra minus 3 there. I could, but I think playing my big 6-6 six, six is just going to be better. Alright, I guess we'll, we'll get it for 3 there, which is uh, completely fine. I drew a 7th land. Do I want to play Chandra? don't really think so. I could also remove that from the, g the game, but I feel like this thing is so unthreatening. I don't know. I don't think I'll... Pfft, even if I play Chandra, I don't think it's... I don't think I want a player to attack with 3 power uh, elemental and then get her down to 2. Doesn't seem great. Uh, if my opponent wants to trade there, it's fine. It's an interesting game and interesting choices. Well, a unity of purpose. Alright. Okay. I think that will make my choices easier. A double block on that thing. Sure. Alright, alright. So I think I'll now I will play Chandra. Use the minus one to kill both creatures on the board. And then I have a Chandra against nothing from my opponent. So that should be good. Alright. One. Alright. And an oblivion strike. So I don't think many bad things could happen there. I mean my opponent could have some sort of burn spell and just trade up kill Chandra, but that would be a top deck. So alright, that's gonna be a win. Alright, well, given that my open mold to 5 and that I ob I um, witnessed the end of two uh, solid flyer, there was not much they could have done. Um, either way, I think I've 
you know, my goal was to play that the more um, safely I could by always having a, a removal for a potential bomb rail like a Sphinx of Tazim or I don't know, whatever they could have. And, uh, you know, not shooting things unless I do have to. Given what I've seen, I don't think there's anything I want to side in. Uh, if I had a Tears of Valakut, I would definitely side that in. Unfortunately, I do not have that card. Um, so I don't think there's, you know, I mean, Sky Scour is a flyer, but it's not going to match up very well against my opponent flyer. Might get tossed on my neck by flyers. My deck is not very good at, I mean, I have some removals, but... Hmm. Yeah, I don't think there's anything I want to side in. I could go wide to have a bit more flyers. I don't, and some mighty leaps, but I don't think it's good enough that I want to do that. I'd rather stay in black and have uh, my three black removals. So I have a spider in green. Sometimes it's right to change up your colors and go for a different deck. Like yesterday on the PTQ, um, when I was 6-1, uh, before going 6-2, I well, basically, I, I went 6-2 because I lost to someone who was playing a deck that doesn't didn't seem very good, but had a lot of flyers. And actually, my my deck was a green or uh, red deck with some good creatures, uh, but not many removal. And uh, I only had ground creatures and one spider, and I got destroyed, just destroyed by flyers. And thinking about that match later on, I kind of, I kind of was thinking that yeah, maybe I should have just gone to uh, blue green instead of blue red, and maybe I would have, I would have, I would have been able to play more flyer and maybe have a better matchup. Uh, I'm not sure, but sometimes it's right to do so. Um, but here I'm not sure because you know, if I if I move out of black, I lose a lot of removals. Well, my hand is a bit lacking some lands in the red, but I have two land as well as two two drops, so I think it's a fine keep. My opponent put me on the play, interestingly enough. Given that I'm playing a rather aggressive red-black deck, I'm not sure how right this is to do. But, you know, depending on my open deck, it might be uh, good. It seems that they change up their deck, actually. They are playing a white-black ally deck now. All right, all right. That's interesting. Um, sure, I don't mind drawing that. I guess I'll attack. If my opponent blocks, fine. If they don't block, fine. I don't care. I have another slaughter drone. I think I'll keep black available because this could represent a um a natural endurance. So the Ampen did choose to change their deck, which is interesting. An attack. Well, I don't mind trading. And using a trick from my opponent there would be rather dangerous given the potential and natural endurance on my side, so... But making this trade is completely fine with me. A dominator drone now. Sure. Well, I guess I'd rather have drawn a land, but that's... I will not complain about that. That's completely fine. And, uh, well, hopefully we'll draw another land. I mean, I can still draw a card of Expedite. I did draw a land, great. Um, I think I'll end up witnessing the end just for. Oh, we might see something there. Maybe a Giddens Reproach or a Searing Light. Well, that's rather dangerous too, because I could be representing a decent amount of uh, tricks. So I'm not sure if I agree with that play, but uh, it worked out for the opponent. Guess I'll witness the end there. Probably getting a land and a mediocre spell, honestly. And my opponent will be left with uh, his two best spells in hand, I would assume, which is a bit threatening given that I don't have any removal currently. But th those two Cinder Hellions should provide me uh, with decent board and, uh, you know, just a decent board if I if I end up drawing a fifth land somehow, someday. Uh, which is likely to happen. I also have an Expedite that I can cycle at any moment. And we got a Breaker of Army and a Swim. So, alright, my opponent just packed up the slow, grindy control deck with Giant Tildrazi, apparently. As here, we might see a Sentinel, right? Uh, I was guessing a Kozilek Chandler, but I guessed wrong. Uh, and I did draw my um, fifth land, which is great. 
If I draw another one next turn, I, I can attack with my two Hellion of the Expedite East. And I'm currently winning a race. That being said, I would assume that my opponent is packing a remo does have a removal in hand. Yeah, pretty much what I expected. Uh, all right, vestige of Emrakul. So, is it better to vestige expedite attack or send the Hellion? I think it's better to vestige expedite it, especially since my opponent does have only white available, which could not really get me. Um, Alright, I don't think there's any reason to play my land yet, so I think I'll keep it in hand for now. And, uh, yup, you know, I should be able to win this race if nothing else happens. Alright, that's something. Yeah, that's a creature that completely shut down my attack. It's the Chandler I've mentioned just a few seconds ago. And now I'm. Nah, not in a good spot. I mean, I do have um, I do have five turns, actually, f no, four turns in front of me before I die. But don't really like the look of that. And apparently the opponent does have something else. Okay, witness the end. I don't really care. <coughs> well, it shortens my clock. Which is the more annoying thing. Chandra. Well, that's convenient, <laughs> to say the least. Now, what can I do with her? I can minus three just to kill the Sentinel. This is bad if my opponent does have an unnatural endurance. I could put token. Swing in with the squad, and my opponent will have to jump with the Sentinel. I think this is actually my better play. That was an amazing top deck, by the way. I mean, I guess it's quite obvious. But if I have 2 3 1, my opponent takes the 3 1, goes to 1, and then is forced to jump the Vestige with the Sentinel. Yeah, I think it's the best play I can make. Alright, yeah, that should be game, I would assume. Chandra being pretty broken. Alright. And for one black, my opponent can only have a, uh, a natural endurance, in which case they would go to one. The sentinel would still be alive. I would lose my vestige and my opponent would have to either attack with both and then chump the Hellion. No they no, they couldn't attack with both next turn to kill Chandra because they would die to the Hellion. So even if my opponent does have a natural endurance, they cannot kill Chandra next turn. And I will win with Chandra afterwards. Uh, I guess this block doesn't change anything. Alright, but Chandra should win the game there. It's pretty much what she does. Alright, so that's gonna be game. Um, I think I, I, yeah, I don't think. I, I did get rather lucky both games. I mean, drawing Chandra is always nice. And yep, that's gonna be uh, match one. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. And I see you guys in a few seconds for the round two.